Signs, chants, and voices of concern earlier today in downtown Grand Junction as the Stop the Badness campaign set up outside Senator Michael Bennett's office, calling on him and officials in D.C. to end the impeachment process, which protesters are calling a politically motivated scam. CARIX 5's Julia McCarthy has the story. Local Trump supporters are calling for change in the impeachment trial. They believe the president made many accomplishments for our state. Mesa County Commissioner Rose Puglisi points out. To have an unemployment rate of 2.9 percent in the state is just really incredible. I mean, people are working and um, being able to provide for their families. She also says relocating the BLM headquarters to town opened up a window of opportunity for Grand Junction. Being on the map for other economic development opportunities that we never even knew were on the horizon. One protester, Steve, is speaking out over what he believes is an unfair trial. It's clearly a partisan effort. I mean, there wasn't one Republican that voted for impeachment on the House side, and there were some, a few Democrats that voted against it. A local Democrat wants these individuals to understand exactly what they're protesting. It's a freedom of choice to express your opinion, and they're more than welcome to protest. I hope they know what they're protesting for. Maria Keenan discusses her concerns against President Trump. He is a, a bully. He does not stand up for women's rights, for immigration rights, for clean water. And it's something that we all should look at. Which is why she believes there needs to be more substance in the impeachment trial. We need to have the evidence, we need to have the witnesses, and the more he blocks, the more guilty he is. And I feel like the Democrats all have their minds made up, and, um, and then they call on Republicans to be impartial, and I think it's just um, political banter. First on the Western Slope, Jillian McCarthy, KREX 5 News. Stop the Badness is a national campaign launched last September by the Republican National Committee.